Hello everyone, welcome to New House Daily. My name is Cameron Stevens and I am a local real estate agent here in Los Angeles. I like to do this segment because it allows me to take a look at every single property that comes on the market every single day, which is part of my job, I do that every day. Today I looked through 248 houses and I came up with my pick, my favorite house that has come on the market today is 4241 West Sarah Street, unit number 29. It is a townhome in Burbank. Take a look. Well, right off the bat, there are a couple of things that I really, really love about this property. First of all, is the first thing right off the bat is the price. Mid 700s for a pretty spacious townhouse, two bedrooms, well, two and a half bathrooms, two full bathrooms, one half bathroom, 1500 square feet in Burbank, that's excellent. So you get the Burbank School District, which is quite good, and you get proximity to all of the studios. Chances are whoever's looking at this townhouse is either probably um, a smaller starter family or somebody that lives in the studio or, or that works at some of the studios, wants to live in Burbank close by, or maybe even a combination of both of those things. But Burbank is a fantastic area too. I mean, this particular pocket is very, very walkable. It's nice and green. I mean, uh, so, so the location as a whole, uh, that's one of the things that first off that I really like. And you're close to Toluca Lake. Toluca Lake also has some fantastic shops restaurants, uh, little stuff over there. And then of course you hop into downtown Burbank if you need anything as well. But going beyond that, going into the unit itself, there's a couple of things that I really like about it. First of all, it has some mid-century architecture to it, which is not something that you often find in a townhouse. Uh, you know, a lot of these townhouses that were built, uh, let's see, this one was built in 1965. So right there in that mid-century. Some of them have like little touches of mid-century, but this actually to me has a lot I really like the stone on the outside. I love the detail in the the gate. I love the detail in the door handle. I love the de I love the um, glass that's just to the right of the front door that allows light to come in, but still has privacy. I mean, these are features of mid-century that a lot oftentimes you actually have to get into a full mid-century house to have. So I really like this. Um, the other thing is is it feels open. I mean, the, it's a three-level townhouse, so. I mean, you probably know this, but let's get this out of the way. Townhouse, that means there's gonna be no neighbors uh, above you or below you. Um, in this instance, it's actually a corner unit, so there's gonna be no neighbors on one side as well. Um, so that really just kind of adds to that privacy. I like how open it feels. It's a, it's a three level townhouse, but it's kind of like, you know, the first level is kind of bumped up a little bit. So you you look down into that massive uh, living room area that has the fireplace and it's got, uh, looks to be brick or maybe some kind of uh, uh, yeah white tile over the fireplace. Again, kind of adds to that mid-century feel and you get the double high windows. I think that's one of the coolest things about the property is the fact that there's just so much light coming in um, because a lot of them are just gonna be cut off right there. This one, you get the whole extra, about half a story uh, of windows. Floors are nice, seem to be redone. You get two outdoor spaces. One would be the uh, kind of private enclosed patio space, 
really sunny and green, but very private. And then, uh, and then there is a balcony off of the master uh, on that would be, I guess, technically the third level, although it's kind of, it looks to me as a, it feels more like a two and a half. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty straightforward. I, I like the fixtures. I think the one thing that feels a little dated to me is some of that um, stone uh, that is on the uh, kind of the eat-in breakfast area. Um, eh, that's, that's a leave it for me. It's not really a mid-century feature, but um, other than that, everything actually hits pretty much all of the marks. The kitchen looks pretty big. You've got washer and dryer in the unit and they're not stackable. So they're one level front loading. The, it's about the little things and that's important. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, the, the, I like the fact that the master walks out onto its own private patio. That patio looks to have, you know, a lot of kind of green views. It's not too, too much into other people's units. Um, I mean, a tad bit, but, but it's still, there's, it, the, the complex as a whole seems to have some really nice greenery. I mean, you got the palm tree coming in. Um, it's not a huge patio, but it seems big enough if you wanted to do a two person bistro set or just a, you know, small, small, um, chair. They, they have a full lounge chair on the outside. Um, so, Hey, maybe you want to do some sunbathing on your, on your balcony. I, I mean, I'm okay with that too. Um, so yeah. And and then, gosh, let's talk about one of the last features that's pretty fantastic. The garage, attached garage, super clean, um, cement. It looks just, I mean, you know, this is a 1965 building. This looks really, really clean on the inside. I'm sure that would be easy to, um, to add a, you know, electric uh, a vehicle charger. Looks to fit two full cars. Uh, maybe maybe a car plus storage if you wanted to go that realm. So uh, that's that's a pretty awesome addition too. And again, you're talking the mid sevens uh, for the price point. And um, let's check the HOA. The HOA I didn't think. Yeah, HOA 275 a month. So it's not crazy. It's not going to be you know big amenity rich um, uh, complex. But you're not going to have to pay for stuff that a lot of people sometimes don't use. I mean, a lot of people these days, especially the buyers that I work with, are actually looking for low HOA. They don't want big amenity things. They want something that's clean and straightforward, that takes care of the basics, maintains uh, the exterior of the building, the grounds, all of that kind of stuff, but it's not giving them stuff that they uh, have to pay for, but they don't use. So honestly, I really liked this. When I saw this pop up, I was like, this is gonna go really quickly. Um, it feels green. It feels private. It has character for a townhome. It's a wonderful location in Burbank. And that's why 4241 West Sarah Street is my pick for my favorite house that came on the market today in all of Los Angeles. Thanks for watching.